Welcome to the T35 free web hosting tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to cover creating an index page or a home page for your account. So this assumes you already have an account. If you don't, we have other tutorials available showing you how to create one. So to begin, we're going to go to www.t35.com. Once on our home page, we're going to hit member login in the top right. For this example, we're going to log in with the demo account, but if you already have an account, you could log in with your specific account. You're going to enter the username and password and select free hosting in the system and hit login. Once in the control panel, you can see you have several options including HTML templates, directories, upload, and some of these are covered in uh, s uh, some of our other tutorials. In this one, we're going to cover actually making a new file. So we're going to hit create a new file. It automatically creates some of the HTML code for you so you don't have to do as much work. For, for the new file name we're going to call this file index.html. It's important to name this file uh, index so it will be the first, first page that loads when you go to your website URL. So here is where you create the code. Um, this this is the first and most basic interface so you can't select the more advanced editor yet here we just want to create the basic code this is my test site and you're going to hit save once you do that you now saved your new index.html now if you go to your website that page is what's going to load this is the text that we just created this is my test site now we could go back to the control panel. Once the file is already created, we could go and edit it. When you edit the file, you have the choice of the regular editor, which we just saw, which is the equivalent of Notepad in uh, in, in uh, Microsoft Windows, or you could go to, to the more advanced editor. The advanced editor would look more like Microsoft Word and give you a lot of options in terms of formatting so you don't need to know the HTML yourself. So our text is still there. But now we could make it bold. We could add images, create tables, add links, do formatting. And none of this requires writing any HTML code. The application writes the code for you. So you could add the text here. You could hit save. And you can actually go back to the regular editor and see the HTML code the application has created for you. Now we can actually go to the website and see how it loads on the site. This is my test site. This is, this is the centering that we did to it. We made it a bold color and everything loads. So we could go back. And that's it. That's the index file and now your site will automatically load. You don't even have to type in the, the, the file itself. You could just go to your site URL and this index page will automatically load as your home page. After you're done in the control panel, you could hit the red button to log back out. And you're done. That's the end of the tutorial.